Love can be an elusive creature. Sometimes it's a small spark or a feeling of home when you're with another person. Sometimes it burns bright and hot. Sometimes it's a whisper in the dark. No two loves are alike, but one of the greatest gifts we can have in our lives is to love and to be loved. While everyone searches for their great love, not everyone can claim it. But sometimes the fate aligns and we are connected to our missing puzzle piece, a piece of ourselves we didn't even realize was missing. Harrison and Tiana are the lucky ones. They found their missing piece. They found love. Looking back at the beginning of the relationship and making it through the first I love yous, they both commented on how they always felt like home to one another. Tiana and Harrison have that kind of love. The kind of love that after 11 years is still playful and flirtatious, that is comfortable and safe, and from all those around them, has just always felt right. I have been lucky enough to witness it from its very beginning. I feel like normally a maid of honor gushes about her best friend and how she found the love of her life and how over the moon she is that her friend found this incredible partner. And all of that is very true. However, it's not just Tiana that has been one of my best friends for the last 11 years, but Harrison as well. I still remember the day Harrison called me to say we would be going to different schools in the fall. I cried. We'd seen each other nearly every day from the time we were five years old, and the concept of high school to me was scary, and I never imagined that I would be going without him. Thereafter, for reasons I still can't really explain, we fell out of touch. For years. He did his own thing, not being able to talk to girls, and I did my own thing, also not being able to talk to girls. And for years, it went on just that way, each doing our own things, both totally unable to talk to girls. <laughs> and then one day, out of the blue, Harrison called me. We caught up. It was as if nothing had changed. I don't really remember exactly what we talked about. The truth is, he saved our friendship, and I owed him a great deal for doing so. Someone once said, fall in love with someone that enjoys your weirdness. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that you and I are all shades of weird. <laughs> but your quirks are one of the first things I fell in love with. And from day one, I've never felt like I've had to be anyone other than myself when I'm with you. I can confidently and proudly say that I have absolutely fallen in love with someone who enjoys my weirdness. And I hope you know how much I enjoy yours. <laughs> Oh my god, you look gorgeous! Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god! Harrison, that first night that we really spent one-on-one -on -one time together, the first of many nights that we would talk until sunrise, that night when everybody fell asleep on the couches around us and we stay awake for hours whispering and canoodling, trying not to wake people. Um, that night I was taken aback by how easy it was to be with you, to talk with you, and to laugh with you. I knew I loved you, days into dating. <laughs> <laughs> Dana, as my confidant and witness, um, I knew that I was in love with you and could envision a life with you just a month into us being together. You've always made me feel seen, appreciated, and loved, which inspired a confidence I had never felt before. I've had more than a couple of jobs over the past 11 years, and your continuous faith in me has meant the world. Not to mention your patience. You're the kindest, most supportive person I have ever had the honor of knowing. And you are, I think I speak with, for most of the people on this stage, the hardest working person I've ever met. You have a tenacity and a drive 
that is unmatched and quite literally inspires me every day. You are truly the kindest soul and the most supportive partner I could ever dream of. I can't stress that enough. Your empathy is unmatched and you always make my happiness a priority. You're the most ridiculous, charismatic, <laughs> handsome man of my dreams. You're my soulmate and my best friend and I'm the luckiest to be able to share every day with you. I love you more than I can put into words. And although I can't imagine loving you more than I do right now, the past 11 years have taught me that somehow I know I will love you more tomorrow and every day to come. Whenever people asked us how long we'd been together, I used to always joke that we were almost done. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is, we're, it feels like we're really just beginning. I'm absolutely crazy about you, and I'm so excited and honored to share a lifetime of adventures, laughter, and love with you. By the power vested in me, thank you, Internet. <laughs> it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Harrison and Tiana, I wish you continued and never-ending laughter. The joy and sass you both bring to the relationship is palpable, and I know we will continue to see those moments of making the other laugh, followed by a playful squeeze, pat, smooch, and occasional high-five. I wish for you an endless array of Michelin star restaurants in cities all over the world, feeding both of your deep passion for food, for as we all know, this love was grown by delicious meals. Tiana's wit, creativity, and effortless authenticity are nothing short of inspiring. They are two of the warmest, funniest, most creative, and genuine people you could possibly know. They say opposites attract, but honestly, with these two, I, I'm really not so sure. I am one of many immensely lucky people here to get to call you both friends, and it has been my true honor to be a part of this incredible day. I love you both more than I could ever articulate, and I'm so overjoyed that we are here today to celebrate a love that since the very beginning is the love of two people who are truly meant to be. I can't wait to continue this life with both of you. So here's to the Immaculate Bride and the Beautiful Groom, to Harrison and Tiana. When I think about the thread of memories from which my life is sown, I have but three immediate lines that long. I have my brother Daniel, I have my sister Tiana, and I have my brother Harrison. Harrison, I'm so honored to be here as your best man. Tiana, I'm so honored to remind you that I made all of this happen. I love you both. Happy birthday.